Hello fellow captains, my name is Bob Lune and welcome back to another video. Today I am showcasing the Manfred von Richthofen again and I know some of you are going to be like, oh Bob's a CV main, but I must admit I do actually enjoy playing this ship because I play this like a cruiser. I'm not afraid to get in there with the DDs, I'm not afraid to push with the team and I think that's this, the way this thing should be played. You have some awesome secondaries, you get AP bombers and you have some pretty good torpedoes. Your fighters are kind of lacking but this is one of the only carriers that actually gets consumables and that's fun you get dfa 2 secondary overload 2 two uses and you get sonar which is quite usable against all these dds that want to rush you down so why don't we take a look at how i build my my manfred von richthofen for the elite bonus i have chosen a dive bomber squadron because i feel like if you have preparation time you just make your planes die faster here we have the camo, it looks like this, you already saw that, but you get another glimpse. <laughs> I run Carrier Hangar Mod 1 because I want to focus on the dive bombers on this thing, that's your main source of damage. Then I have AA in the second slot and surface detection in the third slot, because this thing has good AA, so that's why I spec into it. Aerobatic Maneuver, Battlefield Support, High Alert Plus, Air Defense Expert, Survivalist, Recon and Surveillance, Dogfight Specialist, Adrenaline Rush, yes guys, we're running Adrenaline Rush, nobody snipes at Manfred. Close Quarters Combat Expert Plus, a Heavy AP Ammo, Dauntless Dive, and of course Citadel Strike Plus. With Gunter Luchens, there's of course some deviations, but generally this is pretty much the same on all the normal commanders. Let's take a look at the game and how it goes. Okay, so here we are, this is the first game, and we're playing with Phil, or Phil, and Papa Nicolis from 617 and Sauer. So... Papa Nicolis in the Des Moines, he asked if I could play CV since he needed 12 kills on his battle honors on Des Moines. And I thought, okay, why not? I don't play CV very often, but I do enjoy the Manfred quite a lot, actually. And I play it like a cruiser. Um, I'm very mobile with my Manfred because, you know, we ha with the CV you have the power to see the whole map. You can spot for yourself and you, you can see where every enemy is. And that's a very powerful thing because then you can know where to push and where you can't push. Because in this game right here, we're gonna we're gonna move with the team, because that's what I think the Manfred is really strong at. It can move with the team. So we you know send our fighters and our bombers out, try trying our best at least to, you know, contest his fighters. We send our bombers to Udaloy just because I mean he doesn't have a lot of AA. That DDs don't have a lot of AA, so you can just kind of toss your stuff at them. We didn't get any hits though. So that's a little bit sad, but we, we provide a lot of spotting, which is very good for the team. Now on the flank, we have the Des Moines and a BB. I can't remember which one it is. But we find a very, very isolated Minotaur out there on the flank, and that's a perfect target for our torpedoes. Now Minotaur is very nimble, but if he doesn't notice these, like this guy doesn't, you know, he's going to take big damage. He's almost down to half HP, and he's being spotted by me. So we're going to focus our attention with the fighters here over on the right side of the map and help our team take out this Minotaur because he's still alone. He doesn't really have any help. The DD in front of him won't provide AA cover, so he's pretty much done. And that's what I love about this thing. I think it's it's. I think this is the mo most fair CV, and I will never become a CV main, but if I am to play one, it's definitely got to be a German one. Um, I think they provide a very unique playstyle. And as you can see, I've moved on my flank flanking route now, which is because I know there's nobody on the left side. As soon as this Minotaur is down like he is now, swiftly with the AP bombs, we can focus on this side because we know that there's an Udaloid right there and the gearing is somewhere in the middle. And we have a DD on the far, far left, so I can push here with my team. Doing stuff like this in a CV is extremely powerful because when once you get closer to the enemy, your planes will have a shorter travel time so you can actually use more planes which gives you higher damage now the Manfred does not have a lot of planes but luckily this enemy team doesn't have that much AA so I'm not gonna be suffering too much and the CV just like me can't really use his fighters I'm very bad with fighters because yeah I rarely play this class but once in a while I am you know I am in a CV and it, 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 I should really learn it but you know it is kind of hard, actually, I think. So the guys that can do it, I, I just get wrecked. My fighters get baited every time. 
So this Manfred, he's completely out of position, and I'm telling my team, please focus him. We can take this guy out, and he's very low, so I'm, I'm guessing that he's going to go down. I'm going to turn away now because I saw Shikishima, and you can bet your bum that a Shikishima will definitely go for a Manfred from Nikitofen uh, that's full broad broadside. Or even sailing into him, so we're turning away because we don't want to be the focus here. We're gonna instead send some torpedoes towards this Shikishima and, you know, chuck him down a little bit because we want to turn back in. We're not gonna f abandon the flank. So the Shikishima stops, which is a very bad thing. And we also have a Moskva over there. Perfect. Two very good targets. They don't have that much AA and the bombs will do very good damage. So now we're moving back and... Yeah, you can see this thing, it, it can rack up damage, even though you don't rely on fires and floods that much, you rely on citadels and raw alpha damage, it, it can definitely dish out the damage on isolated targets. The problem is if the enemy CV is good at, you know, managing fighters and actually taking down your squadrons, you will be deplaned very fast in this ship, unfortunately. So now we're back on track, moving towards the enemy base, and we now spot a DD, which is... Looking, it's the Udaloi. He's on the flank, but he's in a fight with another destroyer. And I, I don't want to send my planes over there because the enemy CV's fighters are still lurking around. So we kind of need to, you know, take care of those before we can do anything. But he's pretty low, the Udaloi. So I'm betting on he's going to, you know, go down and I can move forward here. That's a gamble we're willing to take because I don't think the Udaloi will have time to cap the base. Because we're going to be in their base very soon. It's pretty much our whole team uh, on this right flank, we just, and we have somebody defending. Our teammate Phil is staying back in his lava, making sure the base is safe so this push can actually be successful. So we drop our torpedoes on Shikishima and now we send our secondaries to finish off this battleship. While our bombs completely decimate the Moskva, the bombs are great on the Russian, uh, Russian cruisers. They don't have that much AA and they're huge. So we get a killer with our secondaries, and that's why I love the Manfred, man. The, it, it's, well, the other CVs can do this as well, but the, the Manfred's the only one that can actually be kind of a threat to the team if he pushes in, because these secondaries are pretty good. Now, remember, I have Gunter Luchens on here, which is a great captain for this ship. He can also work on other ships, not non-CV ships, but I really like it on here. I prefer it. I'm just going to leave it leave him here because he works so well. Um and this is why it's powerful to push, because look at this. I just keep sending planes. They don't have to travel very far, and this is powerful. If I was all the way back in the base, I would have to wait so long for my planes to even reach the target. This way, we're getting closer. We're also providing quite a lot of threat. You know, the enemy team is thinking, well, what the heck is going on? How can their CV and a BBDD and, the, you know, how are, they, how are they just pushing in? What happened? So... <laughs> that, that's a pretty pretty funny thing to do in this sh this ship, and I I really love doing it. Um, I think this is the, the the CV for those of you who don't really like CV, you know, like me for example. I don't really play CV, and they focus me so much that you know I kind I, I've kind of grown to hate them a little bit. No offense, guys, but um, <laughs> all jokes you know all jokes aside, I do enjoy playing them sometimes. It it does feel good to rain the pain down on somebody else and not be the recipient for once. So we're going to reach our 100k because these bombers, man, they're, re they're, they're going in, getting the kill. We got the Moskva. Three kills, 102k, and that was a very fun example of how to push in the Manfred. So the next game I have for you is a game where I get pushed in our on Hourglass, and we are, we're going to see how to deal with two Shimakazis pushing you. So let's take a look at that. Alright, so this next game right here is a little bit more difficult because there's a Worcester in the game and we're playing versus Hakuryu player, which is a very good CV player from my experience. So this one's a little bit more, you know, challenging and it's Hourglass, one of the hardest maps, I think, for playing CV at least when I'm not an experienced CV player. Because it's such a short map and when there's two Shimakazis on the enemy team, it definitely feels, uh, you definitely feel a little, more, a little bit more closer to the DDs. So I provide, I want to provide spotting both flanks. I want to see what both the Shimakazis do. But I also want to figure out where the enemy Worcester is. I don't want to get, you know, my planes caught in his AA. That would be detrimental. I have 24 dive bombers and 11 torpedo planes. So we have to kind of be, you know, careful with how we use them. 
So I want to protect my own plane. So I send my fighters along with my dive bombers. And we're going to see what we spot here. No Worcesters, so we're kind of good. Now, the my team don't have any spotting on the other side of the map. But that's just how it is right now. I They are, they are behind an island. They're safe. And we can wreak havoc on this Grosser Curve first because he's a big target. So every torpedo will hit seven torpedo hits. And we're already up to 21k damage. That's not bad. I mean, for a ship that doesn't have fires, you know, the Midway, man, those bombs, they hurt and they set fires. It's still pretty good. I, I do enjoy the, the, the games, the gameplay of this the, this ship. So the Venezia is kind of having trouble and I really wanted to help him with my fighters. But here we see my, my difficulties. I cannot fighter bait. Myra here fi fighter baits me perfectly and I send out my next squadron and guess what happens? He also baits those. So I, I didn't really help my Venezia that much, um, but, you know, th this is what happens when you're not a good CV player. Look, I can't send my fighters. He baited them perfectly again. So, yeah, and here we go. That's the first push. There's the Shimakaze trying to torpedo me, and that's what, this is what I mean. You can see how easy it is for Shima just to get this close to the base and launch a set of torpedoes. Now, luckily, we, we were kind of already parallel to them so it didn't really take much and we only took one hit we all also got an assist on the gk so he went down without any flaws so that was pretty nice now here we see the wooster and i thought to myself yeah do i want to try to take out this wooster with my planes mm, yeah i think it's a good idea because we can drop him further away and that's what we're gonna do now his aa is focusing my planes but look at that salvo man i think that was phil in his slava because that was a devastating salvo now, we didn't quite get him, but he is so low that I'm confident my team will finish him. The Hakurio gets the My Shimakaze, and there's a now a Shimmer rushing me. Th this is probably the same Shimmer from before who tried to top us, and he is now going in for the kill. I am a very lucky CV player that I have a Venezia on my side, because without him, I probably would have been hurt. But here comes the Shimmer. He smokes up. We are activating our DFA. Remember, Manfred has some really good AA with this uh, DFA 2 skill. It is specced with consumables, which is such a, f you know, it's just fun. It's a gimmick. And look at that mm, beautiful captain hook with the one shot. And now we all we have to do is pretty much just go get as parallel as possible to these torpedoes and try to avoid damage. Now, I think we did pretty good. And we can park right behind this island, which is perfect. One Shimmer down, now we just need to focus on this Minotaur over here. Now, the Minotaur, perfect target, easy to penetrate with the bombs. And, you know, he does have good AA, but it's not good enough to stop the strike. So, it's not really, it doesn't really matter at that point, right? <laughs> it doesn't really matter, no. So, we get the first strikes in, and, I mean, I'm, I'm not the best with these torpedo bombers. So, you, you're going to see here... I didn't predict his acceleration would be this good. I Now I know some of them would have hit, but I could definitely definitely have planned that better. He goes down to Captain Hook, my trusty Venezia here to my side, and another Shimakaze is rushing us, guys. Like, look at these. They are hungry. They are looking for it. Now, he misses, and I think he only has one tube ready. So, lucky me. Look at that Venezia strike, and I don't even want to use my bombs. I'm, I'm thinking send him to the Haku, but he also goes down. And now it's just this Shimakaze who, went down, who goes down with the swiftness from the secondaries. So that was two games in the Manfred I had this day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please don't flame me for playing CV. I do enjoy them sometimes, especially the Manfred. It's a great ship. So here we are at the end of the, vid the video. I haven't thanked any of you for 400 subscri subscribers, and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much, guys. The amount of support you've shown me is insane. I love making these videos, and I hope you can forgive me for making a CV video. Now, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have an awesome day, an awesome weekend. My name has been Bob Lune, signing out.